Today, I stand here for my Valentines, two of the people that I love most in this world, my Cokie and my Lawton. So, a mom shared a story the other day about a lockdown that had occurred at her daughter's elementary school. You see, a strange man had been spotted, so lockdown and active shooter protocols were initiated. Thankfully, it was a false alarm. So when the fourth grader got home that day, her mom noticed that her daughter had writing up and down her arms with marker in big letters. And it read, I love you, mommy and daddy, on both sides. And the mom looked at her and said, darling, why'd you do that? She looked up at her mother and she replied, so that you would know that I loved you when they found my body. This is what our children are dealing with every single day. It has been 7,240 days since Columbine. It has been 4,063 days since Virginia Tech. It has been 2,253 days since Sandy Hook, where 20 elementary children were slaughtered. And now it has been 365 days since Parkland, where 17 innocents were taken from their families. I will repeat what I said one year ago. Doing nothing is no longer an option. Doing nothing has resulted in a world where lockdown drills in elementary schools and churchgoers being killed in the most sanctified of places has become commonplace. The mothers of this state aren't going away, and neither am I. Psalms 13, how long, Lord, Will you utterly forget me? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I carry sorrow in my soul, grief in my heart day after day? How long? Again, it depends on the men and women in this chamber. It's past time to turn thoughts into action. It's past time to turn prayers into common sense gun policies that will protect our children. And while I appreciate the words from the senator from the 56th, instead of words, what I would prefer are hearings, hearings on the bills that put forth common sense gun safety reforms. Last year, I said, if the killing of so many innocents will not change our politics, then maybe we need to change our politicians. And I have to say that that has already started to happen. The addition of two, two mothers to this chamber is an example of that. And let me say this, it's just the beginning. I yield the well. <laughs>